<laughs> but can you hear me? It was the first he said he came, he came here to do what? Fine. Do you have any of your friends that you do anything or do you think Is that the best to live now? No. Is that the best way to live now? No. So, what can you tell from what you just said? I learned that we should not stay because, our, because of our environment. We should just sit down and do nothing. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, you see, this is the essence of why we are here today. From the CGPS class, you know, to our edge to the official. Thank you so much for what you have done. You have done so much like a good enough. To our tech, great man. Thank you, Tech City CEO. To Mr. Richard, thank you so much for what you have done. Thank you so much for what you have done. Thank you so much for what you have done. And I see your hands for me that they work on the questions. Questions? 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 Okay, come on, you tell us your name, the name of your school, the flag of our country, and to hear your questions. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Alamale Ebola, I am from Aide at Ebola Senior High School. My question goes to Mr. Ijiwalasa. You said when the change is gradual, we don't really notice. Nowadays, the change that are gradual, everyone notices that this is what is happening in your environment, this is what is happening in your community. And you said, don't aim for big things. Start with some um, small things. There are people that even that small things are not what they aim for. Even when they aim for big things, they get it as a goal. After getting it as a goal, meeting people in higher places. But now, people think that when you come to me as an American and I'm in Nigeria, they think that you are here to just do me. How are we going to solve that? Because anytime I try to talk to some people, they'll be like, no, Nigeria's mentality are the same thing. They are not the same as what we think in America or maybe Chicago. They have different personalities. So, sir, what can we do about that? Thank you so much. <laughs> The only question I understand very well is the last, the last part. So I will address that one last. But I want to understand when you talk about, I want to understand the question is that people want to do big things. Yes. The truth is that you cannot do big things without doing small things. The only thing that is, they said the only thing that started from the top is a dream. So, so no matter how big whatever you want to do, you must, there must be a starting point and you grow into it. So that's what I'm talking about. I'm not saying you don't aim to be big. I'm just saying that start from where you are and grow what you are doing. But not that you have small vision, no. Have big vision, but start acting from where you are. So we call that thing, think globally, act, act locally. Does that explain what you're asking? Okay. You ask another question. You talk about Nigerians are not trusted at all. Well, that's neither here nor there. I am in Nigeria and I talk to people abroad, people trust me. <laughs> Hey, but there always be people, there always be people who don't believe whatever you even to just like there are people who didn't believe in you. You get so it's just a defeat mentality if you think that oh, because you're Nigerian, nobody will trust us because they have not tried. Because mm -hmm. they have not tried. If you have content, people will not care where you come from, like the musician you talked about. Nobody knew where he's from, nobody knows his school. But it is the content of what you have to say that people are interested in. So if you are telling yourself you don't want to do anything, you do. If you talk to the first person, they don't trust the person. If the first person doesn't trust you, talk to the next person. You find the one that will trust you. You get it. Don't, don't allow the defeating mentality in yourself that you want to hold you down. Try it first. Like, that's what I said. Thank you. Now I'm going to teach you. Um, I mean, as a two A science class. My question is 
things that are not real at all. They are not real. They are scam. What can we do? Well, there are many things that I have tried to learn online. Maybe even get scholarship online. I just break my data, my battery on it. I don't even work in our study. What have we done? What have we done? What have so I don't think that, that I don't think like I, I will tell you the same thing. For first, let me start from the fact that the presence of fake shows that there's original. So if there's still fake or something, that means original. So if there are fake sites, that means there are original sites where you can learn, right? So you just need to find where are the original, the original place you can learn. Start from YouTube. Start from Google. Whatever you want to learn, put it on YouTube. You will still still be. Three videos in their thousands. Pick the one that works for you. You don't have to start from paying something or pay or something. You can start from Google and YouTube. Those are trusted platforms that you can find, collect things that you can learn from. When you touch on Google, Google algorithm will not bring you fake sites and it will not bring them as possible. It is the original one that will be in your top that of your text. If you are getting fake stuff, then there's something you are not doing right. You get. Does he answer your question? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, we have questions for any of our people. Who comes to us? Tell us the name. Tell us the name. How much are you extended? I'm Mr. Mojadi. Who can't tell us? From Ayedere Senior, Ayedere Ajibala Senior High School, Cape Lagos. The question is not a question, but I. Many investing and that is one of the challenges we have. So we invest a lot, government is doing a lot, investing teachers, running, putting energy, but most of our learners are looking the other way. What do we do? Thank you. So thank you so much. So, sir, I would love to respond to that. So uh, we have the challenge, students are not concentrating. They go out very fast as against them. Let me just try to see if I can uh, answer before you, you, you proceed. Now, I realize that a lot of our young stars now, young the students now, they learn faster by visual. And a lot of them sometimes, um, they don't understand when teachers are. In fact, most of our teachers, we even need to upgrade them. Because some of them are still running with the old curriculum. Some of them don't know how to pass the information. And in so doing, students may not even get what they're saying. And so in the process, you lose out on the students. But you see, there is this inbuilt ability in these children. Some of them want to explore that area. And that's why you realize that some of them, if I ask a lot of them now, some of them now, if I ask you, which, what kind of skill do you like? Now, I'm sure if I introduce this young man, right, I think it's a mapping salon. Within a short period of time, the guy will get it, right? Because something like he's passionate about. Sorry. I mean, she's not talking about the skill that they are learning. She's talking about not where they are learning the skill. They are influencing them against education. 
We are telling them school is calm. Oh. So see me, I'm a baba now. See what I'm wearing now. See, you leave school and come and take this bad In six months, you make money. That's what she's talking about. Now. What is the solution? That. That's what she's talking about.
These guys are sitting down, they're seeing the nose, they're seeing these guys, they are seeing us as adults, they are seeing our government people pay money for the winners of Big Brother. Those guys are going over hundreds of millions. Why the best graduate student in the land was giving hundred thousand? Was giving hundred thousand to this is just so to 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 we cannot completely rule out vocation. It's very very true in this our time. It's more as a matter of fact, Google. Tesla, all of them are now saying we are not we no longer eyeing by qualification. Mm -hmm. It's by what you can do. What can you do? Simple. That's a last he says something. Things have changed. Educational system, the education needs to be bring it about the policies, must know that things have changed. It has. It's a new reality, and all of us must catch up because it has taken to his heels. Thank you. All right. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Finally, yes. I want to say to her, maybe it's possible. I want to say to her about 20 sites that you can learn. You know, you can me all these people. I don't do this. I can call it to you. I can call it to you. So to the site. You can learn anything. Anything. Okay, so what I want to say is that, of course, the problem you have described is beyond even the school itself. Yeah. It's a problem of our society and the reality. But since the school is supposed to be the light, a change. What about a collaboration between the school and society? What if you notice that okay, this kid needs this kid needs to learn skills? So what about if school has an informal kind of program where they certify where they can learn from? So maybe school identify the fashion designers, the barbers, all people in this area, and identify the one that this children can go to. So they now tell parents. Or you want to send your kids for vocational course outside. We know you want to send them. We know they need to go. But don't let them go without us. Let us let us identify the ones that your children can go to that they will not be influenced negatively. So when those people know to know that okay, they are registered in school, they will behave. And you know, you can also if they are complaining. We know who to hold responsible. Unlike they are just doing their thing that they themselves. I know it's a lot of hard work, but I believe it can be done. If we can be few places, maybe with a few pilot cases, a few pilot cases that can go from there. Even if the government can actually adopt it. I know the government is doing a lot with technical education. I know they are reviving it. They are taking a lot of kids to technical. So they are they are very much better in vocal, uh, vocational education. So if it's a school like this, doing stuff like that. This is where they can come in. You know, have blue things like this up, and people will see that we feel God and the people that are talking. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Now we have a motion of confirmation, sir. Yes. On this note, I think government, the, the government has established a school. They call it comprehensive school. We are, they are learning different type of vocational like baby, like uh, tailoring, different kinds of things. It's just, it has been established. And there, there is one that's angles, there is one that I keep for the group, and that's what women have done. Thank you so much, thank you so much, thank you so much, thank you so much. Our teachers are wonderful. Can we look at this? Can we give them a round of applause?
And this can be done. I want to see this opportunity, sir. If you can have this group people by next one that we'll be having our speech and prize giving day, so that the children will be invited. We have children there, then we have virtually all the students on seats so that using that opportunity to talk to them, I think that one will be better off than having selected few heads here. So on this group, it is an appeal and a request if that can be done. We will appreciate that. Good afternoon, everybody, the principal, every person, the five people from the um, district, and every great person that's coming to speak to us today. My name is Joseph Great, from my right for last year high school. And I'm going to be talking about the impact of Lagos State government on education. The Lagos State government.